Last week, I showcased a freehold townhouse in Northwest Markham near Elgin Mills and Woodbine, a fantastic location with easy access to the Highway 404. But today though, we're heading in the east side to Cornell for another freehold townhouse. While it's not as close to the 404, it comes with its own benefits, including a more attractive price tag of just under 1 million. If you're curious to see what this beautiful townhouse in Cornell has to offer, stay tuned right after this. If this is your first time in the Living in the Greater Toronto Area channel and you want to know everything about living in the Greater Toronto Area, then subscribe below and tap the bell for notifications so you can be the first to know about the current real estate market in Toronto, Ontario. My name is Antonio and my business partner is Van. We get calls every day from people just like you, so whether you are moving in 9 days or nine months, feel free to reach out as all of our contact information is in the description box below. We would be happy to help you make a smooth move to the greater Toronto area. Here's the thing, Cornell is one of those planned communities that's kind of like an experiment. The idea is to make it self-sufficient with everything you need right within the neighborhood instead of relying on the larger surrounding area to make it all work. At the same time, Cornell is a pretty new community with development starting around 2006. Because of that, there's a wide range of properties in different sizes, designed with young professionals and families in mind. And the prices are more affordable too. But don't get me wrong, Cornell is quickly becoming one of those communities with top-notch amenities. Take the Cornell Community Center for example, with its impressive Olympic-style swimming pool and a standing library. Plus, along Burr Oak Avenue, starting at 14th Avenue, there's this unique street line with cool boutique shops and cafe on the ground floor, while the second floor are home to residential suits. It really creates a vibrant, one-of-a-kind atmosphere. On top of that, Markview Stonefield Hospital is conveniently located nearby at Ninth Line and Church Street. This community truly has everything you need. Cornell has no shortage of schools, with options like Cornell Village Public School, Black Walnut Public School, Little Rouge Public School, and the recently added Bill Hogarth Secondary School. There's definitely a school for everyone in the community. Before we tour this stunning and value-packed semi-detached home here in Cornell, let me show you the beautiful park that's just a three-minute walk away. This is Cornell Rouge Woods Park. This beautiful 3.2-acre park is the perfect spot for anyone looking to take a peaceful walk or run and escape the city's hustle and bustle. The park features two full-size baseball fields, two full-size soccer fields, and plenty of green space for all kinds of outdoor activities. Plus, there are tennis courts, basketball courts, and lots of fun playgrounds for kids to enjoy. Even better, right behind this semi-detached home is Rouge Park Public School, which has an impressive Fraser Institute rating of 8.2 and ranks 262 out of 3,021 schools. This Cornell Rouge neighborhood truly has everything you need. This is 106 Pearl Lake Road. This freehold townhouse features a 3 plus 1 bedrooms, 4 bathrooms, and provide 3 parking spaces on a 23 by 91 foot lot, which is quite modest. The major intersection nearby is Donald Cousins Parkway and Highway 7. Let's take a look inside the townhouse.
into the semi-detached home, you notice a double door closet to your right. Plus, the soaring high ceilings creates an incredible elegant atmosphere. Just a few steps up, on the right, you will find the powder room. This is a standard two-piece bathroom. And you get this window that is facing outside because this is a semi-detached home. A few more steps up, and on your right is the back entrance of the house. As you walk downstairs, you see the second entry to the house, which you see another foyer. And on the right, you see another double door clothes closet for your coats and shoes. And now let's get to the back and take a look. In front, you still got some plenty of green grass for your gardening too. There are plenty of space. On your left, you also find the two additional parking spaces right behind the single car garage. And here is another look of the single door garage. The other side is the other semi-detached, but on top, you also find the deck for this semi-detached home. Now let's head back to the house, and if we turn back to the right, we find the laundry room, and also is the access to the door garage. As you can see, this is a modest-sized laundry room with a sink on the side as well. This is a fairly large single car garage. As you can see, there are plenty of room to do more storage. Now let's go back upstairs and continue on the tour. And in front, you see a door that leads to the basement. But first, let's take a look on the right side. This is a definitely a good find for this home because this space it's fairly large and you can use it for an office or a study room or an additional in-law suits. But whatever the case is, this is a huge window that provides tons of natural lights. So I'm pretty sure you can use it for any of the uses that I mentioned earlier. As you can see on the right, if you choose to add a door, you can make this into an in-law suit is perfect for them because this is on the ground floor and they don't have to use the stairs. And as you can see, this is a newly fresh renovated bathroom with new vanity and also a sink with a nice countertop. And we have a fairly tall standing shower that is installed in this bathroom and also a standard toilet. Now let's get to the basement through this door. Now you see the basement which is currently unfinished. However, you see the plumbing already ready for you to add additional bathroom in the future. And here also houses the furnace and the air conditioning. And overall you see the insulation is already installed up to standards and there are plenty of room. It only requires you to add the drywalls and partitioning to your lightings, but there is plenty of room in the basement. Up ahead, you see the door to the cold room. 
and right beside it you see the updated electrical panel conveniently placed in this location just right under the stairs. Now let's get upstairs. Now this is truly the star show of the house. Look at how inviting and welcoming is this family room and the kitchen is. The high ceiling and the pot lights and all hardwood floor throughout with plenty of light drawing from the windows and doors. Now let's take a look on the left. We have the dining area and up ahead you can see the living room as well with fairly huge windows that draw in tons of natural light and also the high ceiling continues through this part of the house with hardwood floor throughout. Now here is another angle of the dining area and let's pass through it and let's take a look at the kitchen on my left and just want to remind you again how high is the ceiling and looks fabulous with a lot of pot lights and it looks elegant and spacious. Continue on with the kitchen you see good amount of kitchen cabinets throughout with marble or stone countertops especially on the kitchen island it looks fantastic and there is a double sink and the faucet on the island facing the family room where you can watch your kids or guests and continue on we have the standard appliances like the stove and the dishwasher and straight ahead you will see the breakfast area there is all ceramic tile flooring all throughout including the breakfast area and this breakfast table can house four seats and overlooking the family room and also the kitchen. So now let's head out to the deck through the breakfast area. This is the perfect spot to set up your barbecue for summer cookouts and enjoy some fresh air. This terrace also faces the back of the house and also the rear lane as you can see from this view. Now let's take a look upstairs where the bedrooms are. There is also a large windows that draws a lot of natural light to the second floor. As we get to the second floor you see there are all engineering flooring all throughout the second floor and we see the two bedrooms side by side. I would say the room size is pretty much very similar and on the right we see the first bedroom as you can see there is a very high ceiling and also there is a large window that draws tons of natural light and on the other side you see the built-in closet for this bedroom and this is a modest size built-in closet with plenty of room to store your personal belongings. Now let's head to the next door where the second bedroom is. And here is the second bedroom. However, this bedroom I would say is a little bit bigger than the other one. And this comes with uh, two side-by-side -side windows which also throw plenty of natural light. And similarly, there is another building closet for this bedroom. Like the other building closet, it's pretty much similar and also store quite a few things here. Now let's get back outside and on the left we see the bathroom and this bathroom actually shares between the first and the second bedroom. This is a standard four piece bathroom with the toilet, the top, the shower and also the vanity and the sink. Continue on the hallway you see on the right is the linen closet 
and in my opinion it is quite large and also pretty tall so you can store quite a bit here now continue on at the end of the hallway we see the primary bedroom and immediately to the left this is a fairly large walk-in closet and as you can see there's a plenty of space that can store your belongings now let's check out the master bedroom it's really spacious and bright and super clean there's plenty of room for you to get creative with how you want to decorate it now on the other side you will find the huge window that practically draws tons of natural light to the room and this bedroom can fit easily a queen size bed and two light tables and right across there is the ensuite washroom now you can tell that this washroom has been totally renovated from top to bottom everything is beautifully done from the ceramic flooring to the light fixtures there's even a marble table that's perfect for a makeup station for the wife in addition there is a standing shower as well now let's head back outside and take one more look at this spacious and inviting master bedroom and with that let's wrap up our tour of this beautiful semi-detached home in Cornell Markham I hope you enjoyed the tour of this beautiful free hotel house in Cornell and this community truly has it all it's just a 10 minute drive to CF Martview Mall plus you got plenty of Asian supermarkets and restaurants nearby there's so much to love about Cornell if you like to schedule a viewing just click the link in the description below have a great day and I'll see you in the next video